So my name is Karen Clark and I work for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission and I'm a scientific advisor for the volunteer organization called NEST, which is the Network for Endangered Sea Turtles. NEST does basically all our conservation efforts for uh, the sea turtles from Nags Head all the way up to the Virginia state line. Um, so they look for turtles nesting during the summer season. When they find the nests, they uh, stake off the sites so that they'll be protected while they're incubating on the beach. And then about two months later, when the uh, nests are ready to emerge, they also will sit on the nest and ensure that basically the hatchlings can get from their nest site to the ocean without any hazards. Well, today we're here at uh, Kurtuk Outer Banks, and uh, we were on a sea turtle nest that emerged about four days ago. And um, they counted about 73 hatchlings coming out of the nest. And so we waited several days after to do what we call an excavation. And uh, we dig into the nest to basically uh, find that um, find out what the contents of the nest were, which is a measure of its success. So how many hatchlings actually got out, how many got out into the ocean, um, how many hatchlings, uh, how many eggs developed, how many eggs did not. So in North Carolina, we see five different species of sea turtles, and predominantly three of those species nest here in North Carolina. So our number one nesting sea turtle is the loggerhead. We also get the green sea turtle that nests, and then occasionally we get uh, Kemp's Ridleys and even sometimes leatherbacks nesting on our beaches here in the Outer Banks. So sea turtles teach us just really great life lessons. I love teaching that in our class. Um, as hatchlings work their way to the surface, they really have to work there with their brothers and sisters. So you've got to work together to be able to survive. And sea turtles are just a prime example of how that works in, in the wild. Well, sea turtle habitat is, um, uh, critical habitat is, are these beaches that we share with them and they come up during the summer months in order to lay their eggs. They have a place to be able to uh, dig their nests and they'll drop you know between about 80 to 120 eggs in the sand um, you know typically. So um, we try to make sure that our beaches are nice uh, habitat friendly for our sea turtles. So things that um, our volunteers work at educating our um, our visitors with is just making sure that uh, basically when they go home at night everything goes back with them because uh, things like beach chairs and canopies can be hazards for them. Also um, holes on the beach and, um, and even sandcastles. So one of our favorite things to tell some of the kids who visit our beach is that they at the end of the day to basically just go Godzilla and just crush down their sandcastles at the end of the night. So those are really easy ways that our visitors can help out our sea turtles make this perfect habitat so that when they go to bed at night, our sea, tur sea turtles will come out of the ocean and leave those nests for us in the morning. Well, it's just an incredible opportunity to be able to kind of immerse ourselves in this habitat and see how, you know, we love the beach, they need the beach. So it's this shared kind of resource. And it's a really great opportunity to be able to, to help make sure that the hatchlings are protected and that they have that ability to, um, uh, to, to recover as a threatened species, um, you know, to be able to recover and um, hopefully to see them in future generations so that our kids will be out here protecting them in, you know, 36 years when they return to the beach.